It occurred to me that members will need to submit their own access requests for themselves and that they may not always have an HR pro to do it for them. So this video is going to be how an individual can submit their own access request. An example would be a company commander has a change of command and wants to submit their access request within IPSA so that they can do actions. Uh, first sergeant takes over, uh, company training room clerk swaps out, or a new battalion S1 member arrives. Uh, they have the ability to submit their own request and not wait for an HR pro to do it on their behalf. So here in IPSA, I am logged in as just any old member and I'm going to submit an access request. Under the self-service tab, because that's the only one I have as a member, I will click on this access request tile. Now, if you've seen any of the other access request videos, this should look very familiar. So we're going to submit a new access request because I have none pending. And here we are. So currently I am a member and I want to um, submit an access request to make myself an HR data user. So um, I would validate my dates here. Today's the effective date. Uh, I want it to be for one year. I will put in my phone number. And currently I am a member. So again, we'll just re recap real quick. Um, you can see what roles I have. Uh, <clears throat> and I want to make myself a HR data user. So I will click on the plus sign here. I will hit the search menu, eyeglass. I will pick HR professional. I will select the hourglass again and make myself an HR data user. I will do the ELM and SOD verification and I will put in the notes, um, assuming role as uh, HR pro at the company. All right, I click submit. And now we see that there is a pending transaction for this access request and I cannot do it again. So this access request will be submit, submitted to the validator and the validator would go in and approve this request. And that's it. That's how easy it is to submit an access request as a member. Don't forget we made videos on submitting an access request on behalf of someone, so an HR pro doing that. And then we made a video for validators and how they approve access requests in IPSA. We'll continue to churn these videos out. So it'd be helpful if you could subscribe and leave some comments. Let us know uh, if there's anything you wanna see. I've been getting a lot of pretty good feedback. I got some emails from people, so thank you. Um, we've got comments on MillTube and um, S1Net. We've got a few comments on um, on YouTube, but we we really need you to participate and let us know. We are working with FMD now to make sure that the content is um, heading in the right direction. Um, <clears throat> we're on Facebook and Twitter. If those are easier to reach out and let us know uh, what you're thinking. Um, we're on S1Net and MillTube again for all of you who can't get on uh, YouTube to watch these. Appreciate your support. I hope you find these useful. Defend and serve.